All right. So uh, my name is Michael, and this is the title of my talk. It is Laundering Money. If you're here to learn about laundering money, you're in the wrong place because this talk is laundering money. Um, what we're going to do today is do some laundry for free on machines that would really rather that you pay for them. Uh, in other words, what we're going to do is save. That's right, laundering money. And from whom are we going to save it? A company called CSC ServiceWorks, who is the villain of this talk. Uh, and that is despite the fact that uh, to the untrained eye, it's going to look like I am the one doing all of the bad things. Uh, but I promise you, uh, I know we are the protagonists. Um, this is our target. It is, uh, these are the washers in my building. Uh, they are CSC branded. Um, and these are the dryers on the other side of the hallway. Uh, they are Speed Queens. Speed Queens are the most popular model of commercial washer and dryer in the United States. Uh, and I made that up, but it's probably true. Uh, the manuals for these can all be found online. They're extensively documented. And the manuals tell you how to hack the machine. But the problem is that CSE, because they suck, have modified the base Speed Queens so that nothing works, right? So here's a comprehensive list of things that do not work. And I have to do this because if I don't, inevitably someone is going to come up to me at the end of the talk and tell me that I'm an idiot and that I've wasted my time and that he saw a TikTok video and all you have to do is press two buttons and the machine will do whatever you want. It's not true. Uh, so we're going to start with the stupidest tricks. Who played video games in the 80s or 90s? Uh, you used to be able to go to an arcade uh, and then go to the hardware store, buy a washer that was just quarter sized and put it in the machine and it would give you credit for a quarter. Uh, these days the washers cost more than the quarters do, but it's the principle. There's a type of person who is willing to spend 40 cents to make sure that the other guy gets zero cents and it's nice to meet you too. Uh, the second bullet point here is that if the first one fails, uh, if it knows that the washer is not a quarter, you can drill a tiny hole in a real quarter, tie a string around it and go fishing like Wile E. Coyote and just pull the quarter back out. Doesn't work. These machines have trap doors in the coin slot mechanism. So manual mode, the two button trick from TikTok puts the machine into something called manual mode, which believe it or not is documented in the manual. Uh, there are several ways to get into manual mode, which gives you admin privileges and none of them work because CSC has changed the base model uh, and all the circuitry. Uh, there's also a dip switch to turn off the entire payment system. Doesn't work. And uh, I'm from Baltimore and there's a guy up the street uh, in Philadelphia who has a video on YouTube uh, where he just takes a pocket knife basically and shorts out these two wires. This doesn't work on my model because my model doesn't have those wires. All right. But who is CSE ServiceWorks? Well, what do they do? They take these laundry machines, they outfit them with a, a pay module, and they put them into condo buildings and apartments, and the residents pay to use them, and in exchange, CSC is supposed to maintain the machines. There are three ways to pay. Uh, the first is a refillable chip card. The second are these two stupid apps. And the third is with quarters, the old fashioned way, right? But a picture is worth a thousand words. And so here's a picture of what CSC actually does. Uh, I hope you can see that it's quite impressive because it's not possible to give a lower rating than one star. And there are 343 reviews up there. Uh, but right, the Better Business Bureau sucks. So what if you trust Yelp? Ooh, we're, we're getting better at least. Uh, but Yelp has been known to manipulate ratings. So what if we ask Google? Yikes. Okay. Uh, well, this is unfair because what does a one star rating even mean? We need to be able to put this into context somehow uh, to really, you know, be able to judge what one star means. I'm from Baltimore. Uh, so to put this in context for me, I decided to find out what former residents think of the Baltimore jail after they've been released. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Uh, having any sort of business relationship with CSC ServiceWorks is less fun than jail. And not just any jail, Baltimore jail. All right. Now, yes, a picture is worth a thousand words, but words are also worth words. Uh, specifically, each word is worth one word. So I'm going to use some words to tell you about the dark patterns that CSC uses to steal money from its customers. And for two reasons, because right in a minute I'm going to rob these guys and I don't want anyone to feel guilty. 
that's the first reason. Uh, but the second reason is that th this is a security minded audience and some of these are actually kind of good and would be funny if it wasn't my money they're stealing. The first dark pattern is with the um, refillable chip cards which have the same downsides that any like gift card have, right? Uh, if the company stops supporting them or if they change the machines, if you lose it, if it's not, you know, you're fucked. Uh, these specific card machines, they have a, a separate refill machine and some fine print in the lower right hand corner of the refill machine that says that they do not accept one dollar bills. Oh, they accept one dollar bills. What they won't do is put one dollar on your card and you have to call customer service and spend an hour on the phone to get your one dollar back. Uh, the third bullet point is one of my favorites. So CSC has to coordinate with the people who own the buildings to do any sort of maintenance on the machines and they're upgrading from the card machines now to the app machines. So they coordinated with my building and with several other people's buildings. And, you know, they picked a date, put up flyers, sent out emails, uh, let everyone know when the machines are going to be changed over. And then two weeks ahead of schedule, at like 6:30 in the morning, they sent in a, a covert laundry ops team to steal the old card reader machines and replace them with app machines. Now, why is this a dark pattern? Because it strands like a hundred people with a stupid card with money on it that they can't spend that they've already paid for. Uh, and the only way to get it back now is to just snail mail the card to them and pray because you don't even know how much money is on the card because they stole the fucking card reader. <laughs> Uh, the machine settings also don't work in your favor. When I originally did this work, the machines in my building were $1.85 a piece and you could only put $10 at a time on your card and if you've ever tried to spend $10, $1.85 at a time, you can't. So when you lose that card, they get some of your money. Now, they've since remedied this by raising the price to $2 but also fuck them for raising the price. Um, if you put quarters into the uh, coin operated machines, you lose the ability to change any of the cycle options. So if you try to change from say uh, cold water to hot water and you forget you know, after you've put a quarter in, you can't. You have to take your laundry, move it next door, pay again and then run with the hot water. All right. I don't know too much about the apps because I would rather die than install an app on my phone. Uh, but I do know that the apps will take your money at any time over cellular data but you can only redeem the credit if the building's Wi-Fi is up and if CSC servers are working. Finally, the oldest dark pattern in the world is to just have shitty customer service. Once they have your money, they don't want to answer the phone and they especially don't want to give it back. Uh, they also do not fix the machines which you may recall if you were paying attention is the one thing that they're supposed to do in exchange for your money. And the last one doesn't fit anywhere but I threw it in there. They lost a, re a RICO lawsuit for doing RICO shit. So, I've concluded that CSC's business model is just stealing quarters from old ladies because what are you going to do about it? Well, what am I going to do about it? This is me. Um, why do I care so much? So uh, I've been in the industry for like 20 years doing programming, system administration, hacking. I was one of the teenagers who got in trouble for taking down MySpace. These days I do more benign stuff. I uh, file CVEs against open source projects and contribute fixes. Uh, I'm a Gen 2 Linux developer. I have a PhD in math. Doesn't matter. Nobody cares. All you need to know about me is that I really hate being taken advantage of, especially when it's for a small amount of money and especially when the implication is that I just won't do anything about it. Now, this is DEF CON. So there are a lot of people here who are way better than me with electronic thing it, uh, what's, <laughs> what's it's and thingamabobs. However, I do have a very particular set of skills. So I'm going to use those skills to give myself a refund. Why? <laughs> so first we got to get into these things, right? These are the dryers. That's the front view. That's the top view. Those are Phillips screws. And this is a Phillips screwdriver. This is a 20 minute talk. I'm not sure what you expected. <laughs> the washers are a little bit harder. Right, there's a tubular lock on the front of that thing and so we've got some options. The first option, hardcore mode. If you know how to pick tubular locks, that'll get you right in but there's a problem with this. Now, there's an entire village of people here who would love to discuss the intricacies of lock pick law with you and then they would tell you not to pick any lock that doesn't belong to you. I'm not one of those people. Follow your heart. Do what the fuck you want to. <laughs> now. <laughs> We can sidestep that issue though. 
right? Inside the door of the washers, there's a sticker that says Alliance Laundry Systems. Now, I guess they supplied these machines to CSC before the retrofit. Uh, and I might have got the idea to just type in Alliance Laundry Systems into Google. And I'm not sure if you can read the fine print, uh, but that says Alliance Washer Dryer Key that I've typed into the search box. And you only get one result. And it's a key that costs $5.80, which I am more than willing to risk to, <laughs> to look cool up here on stage. <laughs> and what do you know? <laughs> Not only does it open this one, it opens them all. <laughs> now, once we're inside, of course, we have to actually give ourselves a refund somehow uh, via subterfuge. And so there are some caveats here, right? Chronologically, this is where all the things that don't work would go in my story. Um, and once you have physical access to a machine, hacking it really shouldn't be that hard. But there are some extra constraints here that make it difficult. First is that I can't break the machine, right? My neighbors use these machines to do laundry. I like my neighbors. And you really don't want to be on the bad side of someone who wakes up at 5 in the morning on a Sunday to do laundry. Really though, I can't break the machine because if I break the machine, the property manager is going to get involved. They're going to call the board. The board is made up of my neighbors. I like my neighbors. I don't want to waste their time. But seriously, I can't break the machines. If I break the machines, the $2 joke doesn't go so well. What are they going to do? Sue me for $1,000? <laughs> sticker to the rescue. Inside the dryers, we see uh, they have another Alliance laundry system sticker. So all these things come from the same place. And you can't find too much information about the circuitry from Alliance's website. They don't have pictures of like the coin drop mechanism or anything. But Google does. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> There's only three wires coming out of this thing. How hard could it be? And we see inside the washers that we've got the same three wires going into a bullet connector. This is a paper clip with some tape around it. Just shove it in there. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Each time you short it out, you get credit for putting one quarter in. In seconds. It doesn't take weeks in snail mail to get a refund. <laughs> the dryers are a little bit more difficult because uh, you see there's no bullet connector here. But again, uh, when faced with adversity, I find that it's always best to follow your heart and just do what the fuck you want to. <laughs> and strip a little shielding off those fuckers. And just touch them together. It works. It's fine. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and you get a refund from the dryers too. Now the next slide says the end, but it's not really the end. Because of course there's a live demo that's pre-recorded. Uh, but it's live. I just, it was live when I pre recorded it. <laughs> but it's live. What's up, DEF CON? We're doing full screen. This is important. And this is laundering money. I'm here in my building's laundry room at three in the morning on a Monday because I'm about to do absolutely nothing wrong. Before we get started, I've got to attach my phone to my Yopro so that you can see what I can see. So bear with me for a second. I think that should just about do it. And since I've already told you how this is going to go, uh, we can just jump right into the demo. So over here on my right, we see a bunch of stupid washing machines. And the first thing that we need to do to get some free money out of these guys is to get into this service panel. Now, obviously, the best way to do that in terms of how cool it makes you look is with this Covert Instruments tubular lockpick. Um, this is much more than a lockpick. It is actually an impressioning tool, which means that you can save your game once you've picked the lock. And that is why I do not have to stand here for 30 seconds and jiggle this thing back and forth uh, to get the lock open. Uh, however, you'll notice I've closed the panel back up, and the reason for that is because, as it turns out, in the state of Maryland at least, it is illegal to use a lockpick to commit a crime. And so instead, uh, I have here with me my great hundred key that I have purchased from Alliance Laundry Systems. And what I'm going to do is open the service panel with this guy. Once it's open, we can immediately identify the trio of red, black, and white wires running in from the coin drop mechanism. And to perform the cha-ching operation, I'm going to be using this custom hacking tool here that you can find at any Radio Shack. And all I'm going to do is insert the ends of it into the holes 
occupied by the red and black wires. And eventually the machine will go apeshit to indicate success. And you can close up the service panel once more. And that's it for the washers. Now we move on to the dryers. Uh, the dryers are protected by Phillips screws, and you will need a Phillips screwdriver to remove them. If you do not have a Phillips screwdriver, I think you can find these on eBay. But once we've got them removed, the service panel comes right off, and we once again identify the trio of red, black, and white wires. Um, on this machine, it looks like someone was kind enough to pre-strip the red and black wires and cover them with electrical tape. So all we have to do is remove this electrical tape and then to perform the cha-ching operation on the dryer, uh, I'm just gonna smush the exposed portion together with my hands. And you'll notice I'm doing this with my bare hands and the reason for that is because it's actually safe to touch any exposed wires with your bare hands. Uh, it's called grounding, look it up. Once again, the loud screeching noise from the siren indicates that everything is fine. We can replace the electric tape and close the panel back up. And we're done. There's more. I'm so glad this happened. DEF CON, it's your boy back in the LR with an update. It is August 5th, a few days before the conference, and with all the publicity surrounding this talk, it looks like CSC has upgraded the security on the machines in my building. Now, it's not clear if this is a company-wide initiative or just a personal fuck you to Michael Orlitsky. And so to be on the safe side, uh, we're gonna bypass it. <laughs> the first thing that they've done is to replace the old shitty tubular locks on the washers with the new shitty tubular locks. So unfortunately, the great 100 key will no longer open that up. Uh, but if you have the Covert Instruments tubular lock pick, of course, uh, it comes right open. So, fuck out of my face with that shit. On the dryers, what they've done is to replace the Phillips screws with these security Torx screws. Now, the nice thing about these is that if you don't have the bit, you can buy a set on Amazon for about $6.99. And the nice thing about $6.99 is that if you don't have it, what you can do is completely ignore everything that I just said and get a standard flathead screwdriver and just shove it in that bitch. Now, what I want you to do next is close your eyes and acknowledge that through the power of Christ, anything is possible, and then slowly begin to turn the screwdriver. Now, inside, the only changes that have been made are that someone has gone just fucking bonkers on this thing with a roll of electrical tape, but that should not stop anyone who is not an idiot. Happy DEF CON. This is all completely legal, thank you.